If I can try and make a masterwork weapon. Uh, I think it's over here. Yeah, it's through here. been a while since we've been in here. Long time. Where's the Susa tree bark? There it is. Sickle. Great sword, dagger, or sickle. Give me a great sword. Oh, right. I need to grab a great sword and put it in. Duh. Let me grab one from camp real quick. I'll see if that works or not. Can I use Jorgal's great sword in this? No, doesn't let me. Regular great sword then. The roaring furnace awaits an offering. Legs. The Zweihander. A candy sweet scent wafts forth. The Susa bark infuses the weapon from within the flames. The flames sputter away. The sword is complete. We did it. Susur great sword. Silences targets on hit. That's very good. It's very, very good. The extra reach is nice with Sorrow, but the raw damage of the Great Sword is really good. If the Yankee half plate looks better on her, so I'll just keep that on her over the chain mail. I think I've been over mo 
ghosts everywhere that I can go to right now in terms of this overworld as well. So cleared out the Underdark. Let's go to the Mountain Pass next and go through there. But first, I'm going to make a stop over at a shop. Time to sell off a bunch of my my garbage. What to do? Oops. Deep and move. Right over here. That's StarCraft APM chat. I'm ready to go to Korea. It'll take a while for us all to recover. Of course. Yeah, Jorgal's great sword, we can sell that off. No need for bartering, let's just trade. Boom. Check my scrolls. Definitely have scrolls that aren't very worth keeping. On some characters. Am I still in Act 1? I think so. I'm being very thorough. It's just what I do. May you keep like will be done. Oh wait, hold on, I actually need to pick it up myself. But I want the shoes. I like the shoes. How long since I started playing? Uh, a while. <laughs> I mean, I'm getting as much dialogue as I can get and searching for all the secrets and stuff. Going over this place with a fine tooth comb and doing it blind. Because it's fun. I'm enjoying myself.
Can those not stack? I guess not. I think you can trade with Volo if you use the little icon in the lower left that pops up when you talk to anyone. He doesn't have a trade prompt, but you can do so with most people. That's worth looking into, I suppose. I am now encumbered. If I can, I'll have to make Volo's uh, disposition towards me good. Hold that, Lazel. Will's got a lot of uh, weight that he can carry, too. Will should be able to carry, or equip that, even. Lizelle can equip that. At least for now. Unless I see something else I want to equip Lizelle with pendant wise. There you go, Will. Okay, any of the orange ones can't be added to wares, apparently. It'll take a while for us all to recover. I got lots of stuff of to sell. Time to unload some garbage. Sell wares. Insufficient gold. There, I've just about cleaned him out of money. 
Thanks for the money. Speaking of which, I think I'm going to store some gold in my traveler's chest because it's getting heavy. Now let's find out if we can... do any bartering with Volo. setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you. So Trade. Oh, there we go. I can. He does not have a whole lot of money at all. Will. Can we unload your wares? All right. Cleaning Volo out for what all he's got, which isn't a lot. All right, now that we've been paid, let's go do stuff. Inventory management complete. Sorry, it takes a while, chat. I had a lot of inventory to offload, a lot. I do great at inventory management. Why would you Pepe laugh? There are plenty of people that don't even manage their inventory at all. You should see me play RE4, the most beautiful attache case you've ever seen in your life. So I haven't... Oh, wait. Wasn't the... Bridge burned down. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the bridge got burned down. That's pretty fucked. Why is the bridge still on the map if there is no bridge? I bet that bridge leads to Baldur's Gate or some shit like that, and it's like, well, now you can't go there. Tee hee. Tee hee hee hee. Alright, to the mountain pass. We cleared the Underdark, now let's clear the mountain pass. Oh! Really? Lives at the Open Hand Temple in Worms Crossing. I don't think I've seen Worms Crossing. There at Moonrise Towers. The Night Song. Girl goes cold in the Underdark. Mystery of Prince Orpheus. The Artifact Secrets. Gotta get to the Githyanki Crash. They said it's nearby, I assume, the Mountain Pass.
I think I've cleared everything except maybe this night song thing. Said the trail went cold in the Underdark. That's the problem though, it went cold. Like, the last bit of info we got, I believe, was at the Grim Forge. The only... the only... the only hint I have is that there's that big temple I haven't been to, but I assume we can come back here if I really need to, so we should be fine. Let's continue. Without any spoilers, my quest log's good to progress without missing anything. Thank you! One thing I really do like about, uh, uh... The Pathfinder 2 game is that it, it straight up has an icon that says, if you continue through this section of the game, you will not be able to finish this quest. That is just a really lovely quality of life for your players. Now, it doesn't tell you where to do it or anything. It just says, heads up. This game has something like that, too? Oh, okay. Okay. I just haven't had the opportunity to see that. Now, hey, I have seen a little bit of this map, I think, or not. Hmm. Didn't I get an Underdark teleport that took me to a place like here? I should have gotten a warning here. I did get a warning. It said you're about to advance your quest. But then chat said Wait. it's fine. These markings... Tirsu script scratched in the ground. A crash must be nested in the temple below. Oh. We must go there at once. Tirsu script, you said. What does that mean? Githyanki writing. Every word a wheel. Every letter is spoke. The most powerful texts are engraved in slate. Some so ancient, only the most erudite Gish can read them. Alright, let's get to the crash then. Very well, you may lead. But if we stray too far that our chance is lost, I'll make my way there alone. Well, I'd prefer not to have that. I like having her on the team. Unfortunately, it doesn't give a straight answer if you missed anything. See, that's what I was talking about. Like, Pathfinder will literally have a, a red little hourglass marker on your quest that basically says if you advance... It, it, it's basically like saying if you advance past this section of the game, this act, this chapter, whatever you want to call it, this quest is done. Get it done now or miss it. All right, the Githyanki crashes below the temple, she says. In an abandoned monastery within the mountain pass, we should look for the entrance there. All right, let's make sure this is active. Oh, way, way up there. I thought it would be closer. I repeat, when I beat the fucking hag hostage upside the head, I used non-lethal attacks. She was still alive and had a little, had little stars around her head and had HP. I didn't kill her, the game did. Can't blame me for the game's shortcomings. What happened here? Limbs and blood all around. An open letter to oppression and peacocks. Written in a furious sloping hand, this is a letter to the editor of Boulder's Bash, a tabloid notorious for its controversial articles. Dear editor, I find it despicable 
Nay, diabolical that you would defend Baldur's Gate's ridiculous restrictions regarding animals in the city. No animal larger than a peacock may gain entry. Oh, how archaic. My darling Giselle is the most well-behaved bear you'll ever meet, and yet to spend time with my child I must visit my summer home in Cormir. I call upon the Parliament of Peers to resolve this issue. Immediately. The emotional and psychological well-being of the people of Baldur's Gate is at stake, and I shall take this to the highest authorities should it not be dealt with accordingly. Right now Giselle cries out for her father. This archaic policy has separated a child from their parent. I don't know how Grand Duke Ulder Ravengard lives with himself. Yours faithfully, Mr. R. Pickens. What a bitch. Wait, to goblin camp? Yes, it would seem non-lethal is a bit buggy and can treat things as dead. I would agree with that, considering the woman that I non-lethal died. Presumably the four people with masks that I non-lethal in the uh, room prior to the fight with the hag also died. I'm assuming non-lethal just doesn't work right now, <laughs> and there's going to be need to be some sort of fix for it. Oh, this takes me to here. Would you look at that? Oh, I didn't even try to non-lethal the hag. Nah, she was dead. Dead, dead. Killed the shit out of her. No, no, there's some there's some wonky programming in this game that makes certain things not work the way they should, the way they would in tabletop pen and paper. Like I said before, when I uh, started the stream, I have been informed that uh, going barbarian in this game doesn't work. You cannot rage as bear. And it ruined my day when I when I learned that. Blessed be you, pilgrim. Take respite now in the dawn's loving gaze. Well, wow, Lady Esther, that's a person down there. I failed a religion check. Shit. There is work to do. <clears throat> Certain terrains make the AI go stupid. Oh yeah, that's true. Also, before I forget, I should probably get some more Illithid powers. Because I don't know about you, chat, but I have no qualms whatsoever in continuing to shove parasites in my brain. Whee. The fact that you can move the brain around like this looks so silly. Jiggle the brain inside my head. Anyway, as long as I'm not sprouting tentacles out of my face, it's see it is an absolute win. I think the only problem I currently have right now is not knowing what these this outer rim, the third tier, can give us. That's the big problem. Because this is this is clearly a skill tree where you have to get prior stuff in order to get to the the ladder uh, branching options. So I don't want to like commit to something in the early stages because it's okay, and then miss out on like 
say I commit all to the right side and then the left side has some god tier thing on the outside and then I'm like, ah, fuck. That's why I've been holding off on it. That being said, one of the best things available here is definitely that ability drain. Draining a target's ability is pretty nice. Call the Weak is also pretty solid. Just insta-kill things. Every single third tier option is so insane getting any will be wide people small. Yes, but some are going to be more insane than others, and that's the important thing. I guarantee I'm going to look at like one or two of them and be like, that's the best one. Like when I looked at the, these uh, tier one and tier two things, I was like favorable beginnings and luck of the far realms are the best two and they go right into each other. So beautiful. <laughs> it's not, it's a no brainer. Favorable beginnings, your first ability check on any target or attack roll gains bonus, which means it's great for talking to people and luck of the far realm guarantee a critical hit. Once per a short or long rest, I forget which. Um, to be perfectly honest, the rest of these tier ones are nothing amazing. Ability drain is great, definitely. Uh, uh, this is kind of meh. Now, the question... Perilous Stakes is either amazing or terrible, and it depends on if you can use it on enemies. If I can use this on enemies, that's amazing, because vulnerable for three turns is crazy good. If I can't, then this is terrible. It says a creature, so I assume I can use it on enemies. It's just... Oh, I really wish I didn't have to commit such a precious resource to figure it out, yes or no, whether that works like that. Shield of Thralls is... it's okay. Temporary hit points. Psionic Backlash... Mm, it's okay. Not amazing. Call the Weak is great. Pulsar is pretty solid because push enemies. And then Displace, if you're already doing pushing, is good. It pairs well with Repulsor. A lot of the descriptions are lacking. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Uh, and and no, Miss Moore, I'll, I'll find out when the Tier 3s become available. I'll, I'll be able to easily tell which one's good or which one's best. bad. If I still had Repelling Blast, Displace would be better. Yeah, sure, sure. An, an extra 1d8 when I knock enemies down, but that's it's fine. It's not a big deal. I mean, I feel like Psionic Overload is something I would personally, like, almost never use. Well, it'll overall be more positive than negative, but Ability Drain is something I want a lot. Like, I, I think Ability Drain and Call of the Weak are absolutely the next two best uh, Tier 2 things, with Perilous Stakes being maybe... Be great for bosses just to vulnerable them and then beat them down. And the other thing is, I don't know uh, how many how many illithid things I'm going to get. This was uh, only Act One, and I got seven.
Assuming I get seven per act, just out of assumptions, that would leave four things I couldn't fill. You can also give worms to your teammates. Sure, sure. This is true. Uh, I guess I'll hold off still. God, I I want to use them, but at the same time, I just it's, it's the fear of the unknown with a precious resource. Like if I knew I, that going to Moonrise Towers, I would get like seventy worms or something, then I'd just go hog wild. You know what I mean? A friendly face. Oh, you are a sweet, sweet blessing, my dear. You know. I've had nothing but trouble all day. I've been accosted, chased, insulted. Look over there. Do you see that wretched little hive? <clears throat> I'm assuming it's going to be a main story thing that can unlock it. That's usually how these kinds of things work, is some main story thing happens and then all of us and then it unlocks the neck the final tier, you know what I mean? It looks like a temple? Oh, it certainly looks that way. But inside, it is swarming with brutish, stupid, rude Gith Yankee. Brutish and rude by your wretched standards. But stupid. Chucky. Your charming companion would call it a creche. But it was built on what remained after the Githyanki slaughtered all of the monks. I'd call it a murderous training camp. Acutely observed on both counts. Honestly, I was doing them a favor offering to buy one of their eggs. And how am I repaid? Attacked and run off like some transient. Why would you want one of their eggs? The Society of Brilliance asked me to acquire one of their row so they can incubate it and, once it hatches, raise the spawn in their tradition. Please, do enlighten me. What is this tradition? The Society believes a Githyanki raised in a peaceful, nurturing environment can overcome its violent nature. I'm sure your friend would agree. A Gith Yankee is as likely to forsake its violent nature as a gnome is to fly. <clears throat> oh boy, a good old nature versus nurture argument. Also, gnomes can totally fly. Most gnomes are spellcasters. Silly. Violence is taught, not inherited. You don't need to steal a child to know that. You've been sipping from the same goblet as the society. Perhaps you'd be willing to help them, to prove your point. They may have chased me away, but surely the Gith would welcome a person with such sympathetic views to their crash. And once inside, you could simply purloin an egg. Steal one of Gith's own. I will slit your throat for even suggesting it. I'm not talking to you. You'll be well compensated, of course. Just bring me an egg. Ma'am, that is kind of fucked up. How about an owlbear egg? This one does my character have heterochromia since forever. Let's do a quick save real quick. I'll say persuasion, but I want payment up front. But more than like, but I don't think I'm good. Nah, here, have an egg. Have an owlbear oh, egg. Oh, you wonder. Hold on. 
It looks different to what I expected. Are you sure that's a gith egg? No, but this elbear egg is worth much more, and it can be all yours. Oh my goodness, that's a tough check. No! I rolled a 1 on the d4! Try again. Oh great, I rolled good on the d4 that time. Oh my god. Jesus. I just like the egg, wide people happy. It keeps getting worse. All my inspiration gone to the wayside. Jesus, if I just rolled anything but a 1 on the d4 for the first roll, we would have had it. Be well compensated, of course. Just bring me an egg. And if I persuade, that's also a 21. Jesus. I suppose there is a reason I'm asking you to do it. What? Surrender an egg and I will not stand for it. Very well. Here's the money. Now, I expect a speedy delivery. What did she give me? That's it? Terrible. Alright, I'm giving her the Albert egg. You're paying me only 450 gold to steal a child. The fuck is wrong with you. Children are way more valuable than that. You'll be well compensated, of course. Oh, you... It looks different to what I expected. Of course not. It's from an owlbear, but your employers sure won't know the difference. Egg. A voice of the circle to help. It's a tough persuasion check. Let's do it. Oh my god. Oh my god! My rolls chat. I have rolled five nineteens in a roll on this fucking check. I do not have karmic dice activated. I have plus six to ten on every single one of those checks. An 11 is enough for me to clear it, and I can't get it. Karmic Dice improves your rolls? No, You'll people well did... From what I've been oh, seen online, people did the math, and it's overall worse. Are you for Karmic sure Dice. Especially on Tactician. Because it works both positive and negatively. Oh my god. Why are my rolls like this? Every roll worse than the last. I can't even believe it. We're gonna save scum the fuck out of this. I am fleecing this woman because I don't like her. And I might even kill her after it. Jesus.
You'll be well compensated, of course. Just bring me an egg. Explicitly say karmic dice does not affect winning streaks. Karmic dice specifically says it balances out your rolls, both the good and the bad. Oh, it looks different to what I expected. Are you sure that's a gith egg? And yes, like I said, people tested it. And Karmic Dice is overall a net negative. That being said, holy fuck my luck. How is my luck like this? Oh my god, we finally succeeded. What do I get? What the society doesn't know won't hurt it. And we're left handsomely legacied either way. I rather like this plan. You have yourself an accord. Here's your payment. That's it? 456 gold for that bullshit? The crush must be nested in that. Thank you so much. Do be sure to pop into the lodge should you ever visit Baldur's Gate. <clears throat> yes, it also works in combat. Karmic Dice works on all dice rolls. All of them. You'll be well compensated, of course. Just bring... It looks different to what I expected. Are you sure that's a gith egg? A rapscallion I can have grudging respect for. Such conduct is distasteful. What news of our little project? Have you found now? So, where's the egg? Very well. But uh, I'm she's a traitor. How much time you waste trawling through baubles? Okay, so I can't just kill her because she's got stuff I want. Happy are we? Very well then. Also, I'll just make sure karmic dice are off. They shouldn't be. It's under accessibility? Or did I miss it? Uh, up, there we go. Yeah, okay, it's off. Nope, it's just casual Thor WRNG. Just casual Thor WRNG. You'll be well compensated, of course. Just bring me an egg. It 
Looks different to what I expected. Are you sure that's a Githek? Albert, go. Finally! A success! What the society doesn't know won't hurt it. And we're left handsomely legacied either way. I rather like this. This damn woman. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Do be sure to pop into the lodge should you ever visit Baldur's Gate. Why can I not trade with you now? Thank you. Thank you so much. I want to trade. Do be sure to pop into the lodge. Hmm. Thank you. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. I, uh... Yes, critical success and critical failure in this game are automatic successes and automatic failures. Which I'm fine with. This view's almost worth the walk. A Lathander sign. Approach the fairy in Lathander's grace. May his gaze shine upon you, pilgrim. Pilgrim? <clears throat> but yes, uh, crit success, crit failure, always success, always failure in this game. It's the uh, feast or famine style. There's an elegant chest doing out here. We need some potions, I guess. And like I said, I'm perfectly fine with that. Want to get to the get the Yankee crash? Because ones and twenties are not particularly common in the first place. Uh-oh. There's no way I can do this. I'm not strong enough. Unless Guidance? Oh my god! Guidance rolled well! Oh, that was tough. This can't have been used in a while. We did it. All right, everyone, get on for a ride. Get, get on for a ride. Will, get your dumb ass on here and bring the imp. I don't know why you're standing over there. Let's get going. All right. We. If we messed that up, we could have gone the long way there. Uh, yeah, confirming crits and uh, successes and otherwise. Pilgrim's Curse, Pilgrim's Player. Is uh, something that D&D used to do as well. In fact, you can still run rules like that if you want to. There's, there's stuff in it, in the player's handbook about it. Pilgrim's Curse. Morning, Lord, you never rose up over nothing. You're just a fucking sham, like all God's dirty, stupid animals. All of you rotten pigs, rotten pigs. Ree, ree! You ain't got shit on the absolute. It's beautiful. It's gonna fuck you like the cheapest whores. Pilgrim's Prayer. Dear Morning, Lord, and you are a dearie. Haven't I just had the grandest time? Sure, if I was honey, I wouldn't have troubled getting down the hill. So warm and good, I feel. 
I've been beheaded. I've been headed here to pay you homage and beyond on other business for some two odd months, and every mile has unearthed more and more kindness. For example, when my sleeping roll was infested with bedbugs, itching me disagreeably, morning lord, I have no qualms admitting it. A woman gave me a spare of hers, and it was toasty warming of a night, and she with two children of her own to tend. Anyway, thanks for pouring your honey heat over each and every day, cloudy or no, here for a lone woman barefoot and smiling on the lone road. Good morning, Lathander. I suppose all mornings for you are good, you making them up out of all the bright bits of night and getting them shine-worthy and such. I have two new boys, Luke and Elliot, and I should like them to see lots of their of your nice sun-ups. So if you would watch over them, I should be most thankful. I am poor as muck, but have some heart left to give, that which has not been eaten up by my boys and their mum. So that bit of yours, if you keep them seeing sunrises. Thanks, Harrison Fields. Just keep those here. They can hang out here. Off we go to the Rosemorn Monastery to hopefully find that Gith Kresh. Ooh, a berry bush. Lazel, are you sure if the greeting will find at this crush of yours? Of course I'll be welcomed. And if you behave, you may keep your head too. North Rosie Morn Monastery. Me, I hope. Don't worry. You're more useful to me alive. Don't be such a bitch, Will. We'll be fine. Well, I'll be fine at least. We'll 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 see how things go for everyone else. Okay, let's make sure this is active. I don't know at all if you have to touch these to activate them. I'm just making sure I do, just in case. That's enough! On your feet! Where are you taking us? If this is about that weapon your friend was talking about, we don't have it and we don't know shit about it! Silence! Move! No! No, 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 I'm not going in there! I won't! And dead! Cutscene crossbow. One shot. Anyone want to join her? As I thought. Through the doors. Now! The captain is expecting you. Forward. Carefully. These cultists have the crash on high alert. Clearly. Githyanki are fond of the cultists. Could be a good thing. I gotta be careful about standing in water with my zappy boots. Within the artifact, a feeling stirs. Uncertainty. I see. Your curiosity is getting the better of you. Do not let it. Stay away from the Githyanki. They're hunting you. They want the artifact. They'll stop at nothing to take it from you. They won't take it from me, narrator. <clears throat> I won't let them take it. Because if they try to take it, I'll just kill them all. Glory to you, bringer of the dawn. My wife and I have been trying to conceive for nearly two years now with no luck. We've long been followers of your blessed creed and visit Rosemorn every ten day to worship at your altar. 
Please, Lord, I know you've given us a lot already, but if you hear our prayer, grant us this one wish, and you will find us in your service tenfold. This is all that now stands between ourselves and everlasting joy. We have faith in you, Lathander, and are grateful for the many blessings of your light. Ah, ah, not Warlock. Sorlock. We have multiclassed into sorcery. Lock picking impossible. Okay, I guess we gotta find another way in. Normally, I just lockpick my way in and out of places, but it's fine. We can do some hardcore parkour. That looks like a pathway, doesn't it? Hmm, possibly not. Like, clearly that's a way in. How do we get there? Do we gotta climb across this, maybe? Not enough space. Hmm. Honestly, I was hoping to just knock on the door. Ah, you know what? That might be a little easier. Stubby? What do you mean, stubby? Uh, what do you mean, too drunk? It's not possible. Cobalt looter. Everyone else minds their business. I'll be fine. Look what we found. Don't mind if I do. Let me pick pot. Oh, he's got nothing. Some looter. One day I'll catch a break. It's a whole lot of kobolds. Level 5 is pretty high level for kobolds. You don't say fire, huh? The drunk entity is killed with fire, a fire wine explosion occurs. Alcohol count is standing in water to electrify me? I hope so. Why don't you go throwing stones at me? One's done. Wow, chat, you really want the Eku explosion to happen, don't you? This is my time. 
Don't worry. Will has a fireball or a scorching ray with their name on it. chat I did it for you I did it for you chat Action surge. I hope you appreciate the sacrifices I make for you, chap. Like when I light everything on fire. That is interrupted. Oh, okay. Well, how about that one? Another one exploded. Everything's exploding, chat. You're welcome. Ah, what did he throw? Must have been like an alchemist fire or something. I thought that would make them stop being on fire. Boom. Boom. Explosions everywhere, chat. Are your Megumins happy now? That's unlucky. What? Thank you. Bonus attack. One's gonna explode, but I guess it's not a big deal. Oh, 
Don't throw stones at my end. Rude. Ah, the Cobalt Inventor is dead. That one's got plenty of health. Yep, alchemist fire, I had a feeling. Let's wait for the world to stop being on fire before we move around. One true way. Better make camp soon. Might be a while before they give us chance to rest. Oh, it's just another random cobalt in there. The rest of them are just in there. Okay. Is that blood? No, never mind. Is that blood, I say, wading into a pool of blood? I'll BRB, I'm gonna refill my water.
I'm back, chat. Got myself some water. Winery records. A ledger of wine sold by the monastery. One bottle, one pan. Three bottles, gold donation. Two bottles, one cat. Ten bottles, large donation. Five bottles, donation of herbs. Herbs. Looks like that doesn't go anywhere. Can I not go through that? Can I make that jump then, I guess? Yep. Jeez, Lizelle, take, take turns. We get it, you can jump real good, much better than the rest of us. Unless Carlock was here. She's the alpha jumper. Imp? You dumbass over here. Looking ahead. Get that dumbass over here. Also, we should conjure new imps. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Sharp as ever. There we go. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Shitty little barricade. What's that? Oh, dirt mound. What's in the chest? Some money. Can we not walk in there from here? Okay, fine. We can break the barricade down or climb up more. Oh, this monastery is large. Very large. Okay, that's that's a safe way down. Makes it so we don't have to destroy the barricade. Ancient Gith Yankee warrior. A Gith Yankee slate. A fallen Gith. A crash must be close. This Gith Yankee stone has Gith Yankee runes carved in. Below them is drawn a translation into the common tongue. Location good, close to road, but secluded. Building looks well fortified. Defense minimal. Seems to be religious building. Space ample. Underground hidden. Was easy enough to sneak in without being observed. Prime spot for a crash. Suggest immediate occupation, Malar Rihal. That one was readable. Could also be because I have, uh, Lizelle in the party to make it readable for us. Couple useful scrolls. Why must everything be locked? 
Journal of a Novice Monk. There's rumors of a Githyanki sighting in the region. The Dawnmaster's inner circle think we don't know, but it's all anyone can talk about. What do they want? Can they be after the blood itself? How would they even have found out about it? Personally, I'm excited. If there really is a Githyanki attack, there's a chance they'll fire the lance. To see the light of Lathander himself launched forth from Rosemond's, Rosemorn's roof, that would be something to write home about. Brother Wellen claims he saw it once, and it was so bright it nearly made him blind. Luckily, he says it's quite hard to fire, but once we do, those Githyanki won't know what hit him. Seems like, uh, considering you're a skeleton sitting here, it went really well for you, bud. That's a tough door. It's also sturdy. But what if we just beat it to death? What's next? Oh. Fuck this door. Oh my god! Gramishka! Unstable. The reacting to nearby magic can become unstable. At the start of its next turn, it will trigger a random effect. Oh, magic allergy. Yep. Okay, then. Quite a few of those little bastards out here. Nine of them, to be precise. What should I do? Shadowheart should be fine. She's got high ass AC. Fuck. I say she'll be fine, and then that happens. Don't want to take the uh, tax of opportunity. Well, this will be real interesting to see what happens if we let them go kaboom. Well, less kaboom and more wild magic on me. It's a fucking nest. What's in it? There's some stuff, thanks. Get silenced. That's bonus action. My imp! Tiny push. Uh oh. That's not good. They got the good polymorph off.
That's very not good. Well, Mr. Fearless, how will this battle favor us not being able to magic too well? I guess you do okay melee damage. It's my main character that's just not good at for this at all. Lazel's doing work, at least. Is he a blade lock? He is not. <laughs> Ow. She's been dazed and confused. Critical for two damage. Shit. I gotta get rest of the rid of the rest of the little cats. There we go. Beautiful. Now I can go back to casting spells. Gee. Without delay. There are a couple of nests here. Rocket of complaints. A dust covered tome of complaints to the Dawn Master. Who allowed a pilgrim to pay for wine with a cat? And what sort of cat even is it? One of my novices told me they saw it grow to the size of a humongous hound. That was moments before it attacked. The poor novice didn't stop trembling for a ten day. Please, I beg of you, can we just accept gold for goods like ordinary folks? And for God's sakes, call on someone to get rid of that nasty animal. Well, that would have been a hint if I hadn't already taken the fight. Swift as my feet can carry me. No, my my imps are gone until I short rest. Have I played Cult of Sim? Do you mean Cult of the Lamb? Yeah. This recipe I discovered entirely by mistake. It turned out to be my greatest breakthrough in the search for a cure to growing new scales. After imbibing the errant potion, I heard one of the magpies brag about a beautiful platinum scale it had found. The scale itself is one of the most powerful objects I've ever seen. I suspect it might have come from the god Bahamut himself. If only I could harness its powers, I'm sure that I, too, might someday be covered once again. This time, even in platinum. Meanwhile, here is the recipe that brought all this on. Recipe for one potion of animal speaking. Essence of acorn truffle, salts of rogue's morsel, carefully sprinkle the salts, blah 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 blah. New recipe. 
Or the factory's cultist simulator? Nope. I have not played that one. Damn angie cats doing bad things to us. So they had one Grimalkin given to them, and then it reproduced into nine? How did it do that? It reproduced by budding? Well, I've taken care of the problem now, I guess. Don't need to worry about them anymore. Enemies that make it different, difficult to cast magic are really problematic for me because I always like having magic in my party and lots of it. Master Vasaid. Got an old key. Guestbook of Rosemorn Abbey. A public guestbook in which there are multiple handwritten entries from pilgrims who visited over the years. My home is as dark as my spirit. I pray that you will bring me light. Annual Kithorn Pilgrimage. Good to see your statue again, my lord. Never been here before in person. The stained glass windows are astonishing. We'll definitely recommend others. Monks are friendly. We'll visit again soon. As a blacksmith, what an honor to see the four ceremonial weapons of the Dawn Masters themselves. I'm not a Lethanderian myself, but I'd highly recommend it to anyone in the trade. The intricacy of the metalwork is astounding. And get them to jump off the roof. Ceremonial longsword. The weapons stopped glowing. How? Dawnmaster Welkin glory. It stopped glowing. Why did it stop glowing? If I dropped the weapon back down. Oh. Then I'd just throw it over here instead of there. Dawn Master Seed. Dawn Master Stockhold. Stained glass window. The monastery's notable keepers adorn these intricate panels. Lathandarian monasteries of this size were usually overseen by dawn masters, esteemed members of the clergy. Examine Stockhold. Even song before the Zenith Day, celebrated by Dawn Master Stockhold. Seed. The reconsecration of the monastery, conducted by Dawnmaster Seed. Welkin Glory. Dawnmaster Welkin Glory beckons forth the rising sun in Lathander's name. And the broken. Dawnmaster Vasaid wielding. The rest of the inscription and picture has shattered away. Hmm. I can literally hear the magic of this area. Master Welkin Glory. Now, why? Hmm.
Maybe it's weird puzzle stuff. It's a real possibility that I might need to, like, come back with other ceremonial weapons and put one on each altar. Since that's not any particularly amazing weapon to take with me, I don't mind taking a look around and seeing if I can find something like that. Whoa, what are you? Guardian of Faith. Permanently armed. Retaliation. 78 HP, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 20 AC. I have a feeling we might need to fight that. All right. I'm ready. Shadowheart, if you'll do me a favor real quick and just go ahead and pop us a Healy. Handle some divinity for us. Time to rest. <clears throat> a guardian of faith spell. And a remarkably long lasting one at that. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. Still breathing. Despite everything. I think we'll need to bless. Can't give up now. Eager for battle. It said attitude down? I mean, whatever, fuck it. We're gonna fight this thing and see what it's got on it. Oh, he's got reach. Gotta be real careful about movements then. Oh, I see. Kill it anyway. One HP. Okay, it died. We're good. Oh, ceremonial battle axe. Look at that. Never wanted the easy path. A gilded chest. A gilded chest. Some scrolls. My eyes grow heavy. Best to make up. Well, can we not get this shit out of the way? Objective noted. Guess not. To do. Guess this is the way you had to come in. Very well. Monastery's notable keepers it was adorned the reconsecration the? of the monastery, no. conducted by Dawnmaster C. Dawnmaster Welkinglaw, even song before the zenith day. It's Dawnmaster Vasaid wielding the rest of the. Okay, he's the only one that doesn't have a weapon, and all the other weapons are not a battle axe. So. Taking a guess. Yep. All right. So I still need a hammer and one more thing. 
Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna hope that they're all relatively close by. Survival check failed. Anybody else? Survival? That might be worth there a look. There we go. What's up here? An opulent chest. Money. Ooh, a special scroll. Time to pick a lock, I would say. What do you see on this one? Oh, only 14. It's not too bad at all. I say as I roll a fucking three. It's okay, we got plenty of thieves tools. Oh, a scroll of Revivify. Well, that's nice to have. Can't afford to stay idle. No one's stopped me yet. Still I don't think Lizelle has a scroll of Revivify. I should hand one to her. Better safe than sorry, right? Where am I needed? I have a lot on my mind. Um, well, in need to find a way forward. There are nowhere else I can go from up here? Just a free scroll of Revivify? Like I said, I'm not going to complain about that. That's a pretty nice find. Something over there. Can I lockpick this? DC 30, holy moly. That means there's something uber good in there. What could it be, chat? Oh, it might be... What if it's one of the ceremonial weapons? Otherwise, I bet the ceremonial weapon puzzle opens this. That's probably what it is. So that's an alternate way to do it. That would be my thought, right? Would you agree? Lots of environmental exploration going on here. Good level design. Book. Old maintenance record. Reminder to the caretaker when oiling the machine, make sure you don't grease the statues themselves. Stones become loose of late and has a tendency to slip. Novice Perrin was rumored to have triggered a full spin once. Don't grease the statues, it says. What if I do grease it, then what? Hmm. 
Oh, hey. Are these climbable? Guess not. Oop. Oh, these are climbable. Miss those. Some of these vines are hard to. Oh god, it's an eagle. Can't risk being in open view. Hello. I am friend. The giant eagle regards you with disdain. Turn away from the eagle as you approach, indicating you are not interested in its nest. DC 18. <laughs> Ooh boy. We're fucked. <laughs> Nat one. Extra fucked. Eagle fight it is. Let's go. It's only two of them. But they're pretty strong. What do you mean can't reach? It's not that high off the ground. Oh, hey, there's a ceremonial warhammer in there too. I just saw it. I can take down the weak one first. Okay, or not. Dodged, I ah, yeah. Good damage. Oh no! Oh! My body! Pushed. My path be true. Battle favors the fearless. I'm okay, I'll just chill here for a turn. <laughs> Calling reinforce you can't call reinforcements. That's not kosher. Go ahead and grab that ceremonial warhammer and check the dead cobalt for an eager feather. This thing's massive. Would hate to have it pointed at me. You bow, or you break. Oh, there's entangling here. Bonk. Yeah, no bonk. Did it fucking laugh at me? Lizelle's taking a beating. Repositioning. These things have stayed in 
interesting. Oh, eagles defeated. These boots have seen everything. Repositioning. Up a second wind here. Very oofas right now. This must have been the uh, big laser thing that the journal was talking about. Okay, we found and fought some eagles. Uh, this is the canopy above. Oh, we've seen that. Okay, okay, I know where we are now. Yeah. Instead of going up here, I went around down below. Just a big circuitous path that leads to the same place. Give up now. Also, ow, my body. Ow, my body. Oh boy, one HP. That's exactly what we needed. That eagle sending me yeeting off the, uh... Off the edge did not did not do me favors, that's for sure. I still need one more ceremonial weapon. The fourth one. Then we'll be good. Oh yeah, I wonder, can I break these? Darn, I can't open up shortcuts. Boo. Looks like I need to get down below and look around, maybe? I'm taking a quick peek around. Try and find out where I may or may not have to check out to find the last ceremonial weapon. So I've been back all around there. That's where I came from. So I think the only place I haven't gone is down below. So we gotta find a way down. Some vines, maybe. I mean, we could always take the hard path and just fucking jump, but... I'm not a fan of jumping down. Oh, actually, there's some stairs here we can follow. Never mind. This should be fine to go. Oh, I already got the one that was that the guy had nothing in his hand for. Like it was clear he had something. Process of elimination gave me once I got the battle axe, I'm like, oh, that must be his. Peek over here real quick. A speed. Maybe up here? Maybe it's up here in the grave. That could work. Tombstone. Arskel Stockhold, Dawnmaster. From death, life. Ah, this must be it. Okay. Rusty mace. Guess that must be it. 
Beloved Dawnmaster Stockhold, buried with a ceremonial mace in honor of the many humble maces he wielded in his lifetime as he purged the evil from this land. Oh, well, there you go. Found it. Oh, for defender of the people. Come on, Will. Still breathing, despite everything. Sheesh. Best be on my way. Not the highest intelligence score there on William. Looks like this one's the mace. Oh! Or not. Dawn Master Seed. Oh. Yeah. Wouldn't you know it? <laughs> Should have double checked. Hmm. Looks like any regular weapons I have work here too. No, it's not. It's the ceremonial weapon. What do you mean, regular yes, weapons? It picked the ceremonial warhammer up with you, yes, there. All right, what now? Morning Lord's Radiance. Your weapon attacks deal an additional Wait, 1d4 still. radiant damage. Hey. In a pouch. Note to the Dawn Master. To the next Dawn Master. I don't think we're going to make it, but the blood is secure. We closed it off with magic. Only one of our own can take it. If anyone else tries, the walls will fall, and they won't get out of here alive. Should they happen, pray for Rosemorn Monastery. But do not mourn. It's for the best. In death, new life always. This blood sounds important. Could it still be here somewhere? Don Master Crest. This unusually shaped crest bears the markings of a Lathandirian high priest, but its practical function is unclear. Find the blood of Lathander. Oh boy, that sounds like a good quest. Okay, so where is it? Uh, find the blood of Lathander. An oddly shaped class that belongs to the High Priest of Lathander, perhaps it can help us find the blood of Lathander. Hope we can find it. Also, having that Morning Lord's Radiance condition is nice. Alright, uh... Delicious, delicious divine blood. Yeah. The way they're treating it, it must be like actually something divine. This blood sounds old, you should fear it. Nah. Never fear the old blood. By the gods, Lawrence, don't you fucking fear shit! Oh, well, we've got a place to climb down and further explore that way, or we can head back into the monastery down in here. I do still have to make my way into the Githyanki Kresh area, which are way back that way, apparently. There's so much exploration here, it's really nice. I do enjoy exploring interesting and fun to explore areas like this. 
I may want to pop a short rest right now. No time to dally. Do we have any divinity for you? No, we're gonna have to. Yeah, I think we short rest. No time to rest. There's exactly time to rest. Short rest, we go. Keep going a little longer now. Oh, and let's get back our imps. Data the ready. And that gets us our channel divinities back and our superiority dice. Short rest is helpful. Also gave us a nice little Healy. Oop, found ourselves a chest. Arrow of Acid, Arrow of Helmutter, Arrow of Darkness, and an Elixir of Vigilance. Oh boy, this is really neat, the way we're moving around here. I love a good a good bit of environmental exploration like this. Oh, and it took us back to the entryway, so that's another possible way into the monastery. Cool. Guess we're going to backtrack now. I tried going the other direction, it didn't work out, and then I went through the kobolds and made everything explosion. Am I romantic anyone in the camp? Not at the moment. Not in a romantic thing, but we have banged Lazelle and I'm trying to bang Shadowheart. So there's that. I mean, I'm going for the Shadowheart as a romance option. You romance the mushroom. No, I don't think so. The mushroom's not with us anymore. <clears throat> All right, whose imp is dumb? Will, your imp is dumb again. Tell your imp to stop being dumb, Will. Is that blood? No, never mind. Can't slow down. A bust. Stand your ground. Keep them busy. The thunder, forgive me. We have to fire the lance. Oh, I think that's the last thing that it. Stand your yeah. ground. Yeah. statues Keep are them never busy. a good sign. The thunder, forgive me. We have to fire the lance. It's the most. Re it's the last thing that was reco recorded in it. A talking statue. Now, was that a warning or a command? Whatever it takes. My eyes you. Well, you try it now. Magic mouth spell. There we go. Whoever voiced it is probably long dead. There we go. I knew what it was. I just wanted it. Extracts the rules of three. I've read that before. Barrels. Old moldy stuff. Bottles of water. I do like having bottles of water on myself. Inventory of offerings. An inventory of the food and offerings brought to the monastery and the redistribution to alms seekers. We're gonna have to break through the barricade here, maybe? My perception. I don't know. 
Oh, maybe this was an illusory wall at first. And I perceptioned that after I passed through it. Getting a lot of milestone XP for finding new stuff. Oh, more water. Four. How much water am I currently carrying? Because I feel like I have a lot of it. Eleven. Here, Will. Carry some water. Oh, hey. Looks like I've found my way to the inner sanctum where the Githyanki Kresh will be. Let's go ahead and pop this lever for the future. Survival failed. There we go. Inside the dirt. Purple fluorite shard. Common underdark creature crystal. My face protects me. Let's give you some guidance as we head down to the Githyanki area. Let's go. Keep going. 